Hey everybody, I'm Damon here on GNN. I'm with Cam from Cam and Focus and Debbie, you've probably seen her on MCU Mondays. Um, glad you could join us today. We're going to take a trip back a couple decades. Okay, fine. Three decades, 30 years to January where a movie came out starring uh, a pretty uh, big time actor, pretty hot actor for back in the day, Emilio Estevez and Mick Jagger in a movie called Free Jack. So let's take a look at this uh, classic movie and um, uh, see what uh, Debbie and Cam think. And then you can also let us know what you think by dropping a comment and uh, all that good stuff. So let's give it a try. Alex Furlong is about to die. <laughs> and enter the year 2009. Already where happened. Mortality is <laughs> away where money can buy anything. Should you consider an alternative body? Sorry to deceive you, including life itself. <laughs> why me? Why don't they just grab somebody who's alive now? Take a look at these people, Alex. They've lived to have their lives in the ozone layer. <laughs> Tell me who's behind all this. I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. Dying, Jewel. Someone paid to bring him back. Ah, uh, Anthony Hopkins. I watched you die. Welcome to my mind. Don't resist. Lose your mind. And you can live forever. Free Jack. Quick thoughts. Cam, what'd you think? Sci-fi uh, back in the day. Well, I, I certainly forgot about the glory days of 90s trailer narration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was almost expecting to hear in a world, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the, that was the, the, the extended version. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I, I, I've never seen that movie. Um, and, uh, you know, even after having watched the trailer, I still don't think I know anything about it, but, um, uh, <laughs> but, no, um, no. Uh, I mean, if it, if anything, you know, I um, I enjoy the idea. I, I enjoy the narrative idea of immortality. So if anything, it's going to motivate me to go read the book. <laughs> yeah, Immortality Inc. is the book. Uh, bears a passing resemblance to the movie. Gotcha. Uh, same author as Blade Runner. So okay, Dave. Yep. Okay. Debbie, what would you think? Well, I've never seen it, and I probably never will. <laughs> I don't think I missed anything with that one. I, yeah, that's not my cup of tea. <laughs> that one actually did come when I was I was doing research for today for the show where we're doing recording, which is January seventh, and I'm like, okay, movies twenty or thirty years ago, January seventh, and it popped up. I'm like, oh my god, that's hilarious because this was like one of the worst movies of all time. You really? Is it? You think so? It's, it's, Imagine it's, that. If you can find it on <laughs> on like a, a streaming service, yeah, it's worth every penny that you did not pay for. Uh, for a camp, you <laughs> look back at what movies used to be and what happens when singers, you know, act. <laughs> well, um, I mean, if it if it's not worse than Artemis Fowl, then I think it gets a pass from me. Ooh. See, that would be an interesting comparison. <laughs> no. <laughs> <I'm>, All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, folks. Thanks for joining us here on GNN. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Um, and if you ever want to do any of these, uh, send us a message. We're always looking for new folks to join us here on GNN.